welcome back. We are filming season three of Vegan Afternoons with Two Spoons, and I am so excited to be bringing season three to you. Today, we are starting with my three wellness juices. So there's one to boost immunity, one to boost metabolism, and a detox juice. And let me tell you, these juices are not only effective, but really tasty, which I find is pretty rare when we're looking at those detox shots or immunity boost shots. Usually they taste like crap and no one wants to drink them. And so I put together some recipes that you can really rely on. They're really easy to make. You can do this in your blender. You can do this with a juicer or you can even do it by hand. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to do it by blender because I feel like most people have that kitchen appliance at home. One thing that I love about making juices at home is that it's way cheaper than going to say a fresh pressed juice store. You're gonna be saving money, they're gonna taste delicious, and all around, they're gonna be good for your health. So let's get started. We're gonna be starting with my immunity boost juice. It's great if you're sick or if you think that you're getting sick or if you're trying to avoid getting sick. This recipe is packed with vitamin C. We've got lemon and orange in here. We've also got ginger and turmeric, which are great immunity boosting spices. And then we've got a little bit of carrot and finally some manuka honey. Manuka honey is known for boosting your immune system and warding off sickness. If you are a hardline vegan, you might not eat honey, in which case you can replace this with agave. This Immunity Boost Juice, it's definitely got a punch, but it's not gonna overwhelm you. Like I would actually give this to my one-year-old Ollie, give it to him before he goes to school in hopes that he doesn't get sick at daycare. So we're gonna start by just peeling our orange and our lemon. I just wanna peel away the skins. If you have a high quality juicer, you can actually throw in the lemons, like just slice them and throw them in with your peel. I've never had one of those. Um, I always do this recipe in my blender, and so I always peel away the skin because I don't wanna overwhelm the appliance. Another thing to keep in mind too is that lemons are a little bit bitter, and so it might just kind of change the flavor profile of this juice. So I feel like a quick peel, like that literally took like three seconds, <laughs> is worth it. And then another reason why is because if you're not buying organic, fruits, then a lot of the pesticides are held in the skin. So by peeling that away, we're kind of getting rid of it and then we're just getting all the good stuff. I'm also just gonna cut up my orange into chunks. I'm using my Vitamix, which is very powerful. It's one of my kitchen must-haves, so make sure that you check out that episode. And then we're gonna cut this carrot into rough chunks. And then finally, we're gonna take a little bit of ginger and a little bit of turmeric. If you take your ginger and take a spoon, you can actually peel away that skin really easily and you don't waste as much ginger. So I also have a video on that if you wanna check it out. The ginger really packs a punch though, remember. So the more ginger you use, the more like it's gonna be. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna throw it in like that. It's gonna work. So I'm gonna do the same for this turmeric. Just use my spoon to peel away. I just realized I'm wearing a white shirt and peeling turmeric is probably not a good idea, but here we are. This is what turmeric looks like before it becomes powdered. But if you can't find the fresh, I also include in the ingredient list how to substitute it with the dried powder version. So I'm actually using a knife here instead of my spoon because I wanna save my white shirt. <laughs> and the knife is less splashy. Turmeric is like super stainy for anyone that doesn't know. So you definitely wanna be careful when handling this root. But one thing that's kinda of cool that people don't know is that if you have a turmeric stain, say on like your wooden spoons, you can actually put them outside in the sun and it gets rid of the stain is like the coolest thing. Okay, so another thing that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking my Manuka honey and I'm just gonna dilute it a little bit because it's super thick and I want it to integrate into my juice. I like to add it after so that I get all the good stuff and I don't include it in the blender because Manuka honey is really expensive. I've got a tablespoon of Manuka honey here and I'm gonna put a little bit of warm water. I don't wanna use boiling hot water because then I'm gonna kill all the good stuff in this honey. And I'm just gonna mix this together. Now, if you're using agave, it's much thinner, so you can just skip this step entirely. I find this is really handy for the manuka honey because it's just so thick. As you can see, it's just kind of like a little like sweet juice now. So I'm gonna put this aside. We're gonna use this at the end. Okay, so we'll bring over the blender. I've got my orange. My lemon, we've got some carrots, some ginger, and my turmeric. 
For my blender version, I'm gonna add a little bit of water because it just needs some substance in there to blend. I would say around three quarters to one cup is enough. And we blend. Okay, let's see how this looks. Looking juicy. If we were doing this in the juicer, it would be done by now. I just have to add the honey. But because I've done it in my blender, I'm gonna grab my nut milk bag and I'm gonna pass it through my nut milk bag to strain out all of this pulp and stuff. If you don't have a nut milk bag, you can also just use a strainer and then just use like a spatula and just kind of mix it around and stuff. It takes a lot longer though. I really like my nut milk bag for that. This nut milk bag is also part of my kitchen must have. So make sure you check out that video. I also just like love the color. Like it's so pretty. There's not much juice coming out now, but I literally want to get all the juice out of my squeeze because it's just so tasty and so healthy and good for you. So keep squeezing and trust me, it'll be worth it. Now, the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that Manuka honey. I like to do this at the end because if I add it to my juicer, I am gonna lose some of the Manuka honey in the pulp and I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna waste it. And we have our juice, like how easy was that? Stop paying $12 at the juice stores because you can make it at home and it's so much cheaper and it's really quick. So we're gonna use my wide mouth funnel. This is also a part of my kitchen must haves. I feel like I'm using them all today. Okay, and let's transfer this juice. Okay, look at that color, like just gorgeous. It looks good, it smells good. It's gotta taste good. Oh my God, yum. This is so good. This is an immunity boost juice that you could actually drink. I can definitely taste that ginger kicking in, but it's still sweet, it's still orangey, it's just, so tasty. You could share this with your whole family, even kids would love it. Now, I'm gonna chug this because I've got a one-year-old in daycare and he's always coming home sick, so I need all the immunity I can get. So next recipe that I'm doing is my morning metabolism boost. Y'all love this recipe and I can understand why. I literally drink this like every morning and I've been doing this for like four years. It's a really simple mixture. We're actually gonna start by infusing a water, which then we're gonna use throughout the week to make this morning metabolism boost. So it's a little bit of prep work in the beginning, but then this is gonna sit in your fridge all week and then in the morning, it's really, really quick and simple. This recipe packs a lot of those metabolism boosting ingredients. We've got lemon in here. We've also got some cinnamon and fresh ginger. Apple cider vinegar is also in there as well, finishing with a pinch of cayenne, which gives it a little bit of a zing. When I drink this morning metabolism boost, I find that it makes me feel more energized. It definitely helps with bloating. I have IBS and so I get bloated really easily and I feel like this drink helps with that a lot. I also believe that it helps with immune support because it has the apple cider vinegar in there, it's got the ginger and it's got the lemon. So in addition to the immunity boost juice, you're adding a second round of immune support. I feel like a lot of time people just tell you to take a spoonful of apple cider vinegar in the morning and I just find that way too strong like it burns my throat it's also really not good for your teeth and so by diluting it in a drink like this it makes it really drinkable and easy to do and something that you can do every day little tip for when you're buying apple cider vinegar you're gonna want to buy the raw unpasteurized apple cider vinegar that's the one that has all of those good and active enzymes to know if it's raw and unpasteurized, you want your apple cider to be murky. It shouldn't be clear and see-through. Kind of looks like you don't want to buy it, but that's the one you want. All the ingredients that you're seeing here definitely has some kick, but we can dilute it with water as much as you need, making it easy to add it to your routine. So we're gonna start by making this infused water. So I'm gonna take my ginger, I'm gonna peel away the skin like I did previously um, before I give it a chop. If you like ginger, then feel free to use more. The amount I provided is the perfect amount for me, but a great thing about this recipe is you can really modify it to taste. I always find when I'm like on a health kick, I always end up like doubling the expectation that someone says. So that if they're like, use this face mask for 20 minutes, I'm like, I use it for like an hour because <laughs> I think it's gonna help more. And I feel like I do that with like, healthy food too. Like I'm like, oh, one shot of apple cider vinegar, let's do five. <laughs> it's gotta be better for me. Now I'm gonna cut these into little thin strips. And the reason I'm doing that instead of just throwing it into my jug is because I kind of want to reap all of the ginger out of this ginger root. And so by kind of opening up and exposing it, it's really gonna infuse that water a lot quicker. 
got a little jug here. I always get to keep these jugs and cans because they come in handy. Let's add the ginger to our jug and we'll add our cinnamon stick. And now we're just gonna add some filtered water. Now that I've got my infused water, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put a lid on this and this is gonna go in my fridge. I'm gonna recycle this all week. As time progresses, the cinnamon and the ginger is really gonna infuse this water. So I always like to kind of make this batch the night before so it's ready in the morning. And then I'm just gonna use as much as I need throughout the week to kind of dilute my metabolism boost drink. If you run out of water, just throw in some new water and do a second infusion. So. To make my morning metabolism boost when I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna take a lemon, I'm gonna cut it in half, and I'm gonna juice it. I've got my trusty cup here. We're gonna pour that in. Apple cider vinegar, and a pinch of chili flakes. So now we're just gonna add that infused water. You can add as much or as little as you want. Okay, so there we go, that's my morning metabolism boost. Now, we can cheers. <laughs> it's definitely zingy. <laughs> if this is too strong for you, then you can dilute with a little bit more water. The only thing that you're doing is hydrating yourself, but I kind of like it a little strong, so. <laughs> strong. So my last wellness drink is my Detox Green Tonic. It is lean and green. We are looking at spinach, we got parsley in here, cucumber, green apple, it is so lean, green, and mean. I really like to have this Detox Tonic when I'm coming back from vacation, after the holidays, where I've totally like outdone the number of carbs that I've eaten and I kind of just need a refresh. This is kind of like playing catch up. I'm gonna start by chocolate chopping up my cucumber. We're also gonna chop up this green apple. I am gonna remove that core though. I'm not gonna remove the skin on this one. I'm just gonna pulverize it because my blender can take it. It's different than something like a lemon peel or an orange peel. We're gonna take the skin off of this lemon. And we're gonna peel this ginger using my spoon technique. I love this technique, it's so cool. It's cool and effective. Just gonna cut off some of these rough chunks. That's probably enough here. So this recipe uses a cup's worth of parsley, tightly packed. I love parsley in smoothies and juices. If you're not using parsley in your smoothies and juices, then you don't know what's up. It is such a refreshing herb. It is so good for you. It actually makes your breath smell good. I don't know if people know that, but like kind of cool. And it's kind of similar to kale. You could honestly replace a handful of kale with a handful of parsley. And I'm telling you, you're gonna love it in your smoothies. You could tightly pack this into a cup measure if you want, but you can also eyeball it. So if you have a Vitamix like I do, you can still include some of the stem. Like you could literally just break it off like this. But I'm kind of pulling off the leaves um, for people who maybe don't have a Vitamix. It might be a little bit tougher for your blender. And sometimes if you have too many stems, they'll get caught in the blade at the bottom. If you don't have a high performance blender, then I would say just pull off the leaves like what I'm doing. This looks like it's one cup's worth. Maybe it's more, but I love parsley, as you know. So if it's more, it's better. Okay, so we're just gonna throw everything in the blender now. So we're gonna take our cucumber, green apple. Okay, this is like way too full. I still have to add all my greens in. I'm gonna chop these smaller. So the first time I did this was in my juicer. If you're using a juicer, chop big chunks, but if you're using a blender, you're gonna have to make them a little bit smaller. First, the cucumber, the green apple, lemon, ginger, my parsley, and spinach. Then some water. There we go, now it all fits. Now we blend, baby. Oh yeah, she looks green. Mm. So now I'm just gonna pour this into my nut milk bag and then we'll strain it. These nut milk bags really work so well for getting all the juice with no pulp. So now we're just gonna jar it. So there we go, here is my detox green tonic. We'll give it a sip. Oh my God, yum. 
It's a little bit zingy, a little bit gingery, slightly sweet. This is definitely one of those health bowl juices. Honestly, it's so good. I love it. Mm. So there we go, my three wellness juices for metabolism, immunity, and detox. They're so delicious and they're so good for you. These juices will help you refuel, restart, and recharge those healthy habits. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. I'd love to know. Now, which one am I gonna go for? Mm, I think it's gonna be this one. Cheers.